Some of America's most famous tourist sites are reopening again this weekend despite the government shutdown. Individual states struck a deal with the federal government and agreed to pay for the attractions from their own budgets or using other funds. The Grand Canyon will open for seven days at a cost of nearly half a million euros. Private donations will go towards opening the Mount Rushmore monument honoring U.S. presidents. Liberty Island National Park will cost New York State 45,000 euros a day to operate. The state's governor said the park's closure had had a terrible impact on the local economy. The shutdown since October the 1st has kept visitors out of more than 400 attractions across the U.S. Despite more talks, Republican congressional leaders and Barack Obama have failed to break their fiscal deadlock. Republicans have refused to pass a new budget unless the president delays or stops funding health care reforms, something the White House has ruled out. The U.S. also risks default if the debt limit is not raised by Thursday.